Hello everybody and welcome to this review of a chess trap in the Rui Lopez opening. And so the Rui Lopez begins with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and bishop to b5, the Rui Lopez opening. And many times it will continue with the a6 pawn attacking the bishop, the bishop retreats, and if they attack the bishop again, retreating, and sometimes black will move bishop to c5. And here, if white castles and black continues development with knight to f6, we have knight takes e5, sacrificing his knight temporarily. And after the knight captures, we have d4, forking the bishop and the knight. And white will get his piece back. But here it depends on what black does, whether or not he falls into a trap. And so if he tries to save his bishop pair and save this dark square bishop by retreating to b6, then we have this possible continuation with d takes e5, so white recaptures, and if the game continues with knight takes e4, then here white has two options. Queen to f3 attacking the knight and threatening a mate, or if we go back after this knight takes e4 move, another option is queen to d5, attacking the knight, threatening mate, and attacking the a8 rook. And so if we quickly go back over those moves to see how we got to that position, the knight sacrifices itself temporarily, recapture, and the fork. And in the first example, the bishop retreated to b6, but the bishop may also retreat to d6. And after a capture, and the bishop recaptures, we have a, diff a different continuation here where the game may go something like this. The bishop is attacked, it retreats, and then you have a fork, which black can escape with bishop to c5, putting the white king in check. And then the knight, or excuse me, the king moves. And here, the knight is under attack. And so whatever the knight does, if it retreats to g8 or even comes forward, the next move by white would be queen to d5, attacking the knight, threatening checkmate on f7, and attacking the a8 rook. And so White should come out ahead here. The computer evaluation also gives white a plus five in this position. And so one more example, if we go back to the beginning and the game commenced with these opening moves. And once again, the knight takes, giving itself up temporarily, knight takes, pawn fork. Here, what should black do? Uh, well, probably the best move. Uh, if we look at the computer evaluation, the computer recommends bishop takes d4. And so if that occurs, the game would be pretty even. And it may continue with bishop takes d4, queen takes, and the queen had attacked the e5 knight, and so the knight is now protected with d6. And then here, white has two options. 
If he would like to play aggressively, he could move f4 attacking this knight. If he would like to play safer, maybe a3, giving an escape hatch for this bishop on b3, because something that uh, white must watch out for is a possible c5 attack on the queen, and when the queen moves, c4 would trap this bishop in if an escape hatch has not been created. And so this has been a review of a chess trap in the Rui Lopez, uh, what to do if black falls into the trap, and also what to do if he does not fall into it, how to play safe and continue on as white. So thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them and tell me what you think. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.